42 countries, 320 million people, a continent where everything is on the move. New Africa is on average 10 years old. Its first target was political independence. Today, all African states are changing their image. The story of this process of transformation is also the story of Fiat vehicles in Africa. In 1968, Fiat exports to Africa exceeded 3,300 commercial vehicles, including more than 1,500 heavy trucks. Fiat trucks have helped in the building of the dams of Kariba, Kainji, Akosombo, Dez and Rosieris. They have worked on the construction of roads, bridges, factories and power stations. And they provide transport for workers from one town to another and from one country to another. <laughs> Libya today means oil. Since drilling the first oil wells in 1957, the oil boom has given a strong impulse to the country's development, reflected in all sectors of the economy. In just a few years, the average income per head has risen from $35 to $800. Libya has over 3,700 miles of roads, of which 1,250 are tarred, but the geographical area of the country is enormous. By the end of 1969, the 1,200 mile great coastal roads linking Egypt with Tunisia would be completed. In the past, Africa has been severely handicapped by its lack of railways. Today, this deficiency is less serious because a new road communications network can be planned on rational lines across the continent.
Day by day, the vast expanses of Africa become increasingly manageable. What is the lifespan of a truck? How long will it run? Fiat type 634 trucks have been steadily and reliably at work for over 30 years. They first came to Ethiopia in the 30s and they're still going strong, a symbol of endurance and unbreakability. In Ethiopia, there are over 32,000 motor vehicles. 88% of them are registered in Addis Ababa alone. Most of them are Fiat. In Ethiopia, there is a growing interest, especially among the young people, in the motor car. alongside progress. The introduction of buses and trucks have been partly responsible for the transformation of Ethiopia. The change isn't being made at the expense of an ancient civilization and its independence. All this can be discovered by crossing Addis Ababa.
Every morning at dawn, Fiat buses leave Addis Ababa terminal on their out-of-town duty. The brilliant colours of Africa. Colour in the traditional costumes worn by the travellers. Colour in the paintwork of the buses themselves. coach must be completely roadworthy. Conditions can suddenly change and make heavy demands on the vehicle's performance. Ivory Coast has been an independent republic since 1960. Much of its remarkable economic growth is due to the port of Abidjan. The targets set in the first 10-year plan were surpassed after only eight years. Already the port of Abidjan has handled two and a half million tons of exports and 1.4 million tons of imports. Every year, the Ivory Coast produces over 11 million cubic yards of timber, which is transported to the docks on specially equipped trucks. The weight and size of the logs can make loading operations quite difficult. But the trucks operating here are specially equipped for the task of transporting the riches of the Ivory Coast. Just over seven years, more than 90 new companies have been established. These are the results which show the pace of new African growth.
Zambia means, above all, copper. Since winning independence in 1964, Zambia has become the world's third largest copper producer after the United States and the Soviet Union. By 1970, Zambia's copper output is expected to top 800,000 tonnes. running from the Kitwe smelting furnaces to the docks of Dar es Salaam in Tanzania is over a thousand miles, a haul of several days. The trip, a difficult and at times a punishing one, is made by a long convoy of trucks operated by the Zambia-Tanzania Road Service Company, an endless procession, copper on the way down and oil on the way back. Up to 30,000 short tons of copper are carried on hundreds of Fiat 693 N1 trucks equipped with special bodies and ingot containers. When the history of Africa's growth is written, these trucks will rightly deserve a chapter of their own.
increased use of motor transport brings in its wake a whole series of chain reactions. Among others, the rise of ancillary activities. Take this body shop here in Nairobi. The chassis is Fiat's, the body, Africa. These are the buses which are on duty in the modern streets of Kenya's capital and of the other towns of the East African common market. Like many other African transport companies, United Transport operates its fleets of buses in several countries. In the past few years, Fiat has supplied over 400 units to this company backing them with service facilities and qualified personnel. Creating new sources of work implies also the establishment of a new rapport between man and vehicle and guaranteeing the availability of mechanical assistance. It implies a belief in man, in work and in the vehicle. Workshops and spare parts stores appear wherever Fiat vehicles are in operation, providing service and all the repairs that may be necessary. Fiat has its own service network in more than 30 African countries. The new facilities are fully equipped for the huge effort demanded by the new process of transformation now underway. transport, the supply of spare parts is no longer a problem. Turin is now only a few hours from Lagos, Abidjan, Kinshasa, Addis Ababa and Africa's other capital cities. In the Cameroons, Fiat service centers and parts stores are continuously updated. Stock taking and filing are kept up to date so that items are readily available at all times. the training of new specialist personnel. Going to school at 40 isn't easy, but the workers attending one of Africa's many vocational and training courses, like this one at Douala, are well aware of their importance. A 
rapidly changing society calls for new and ever more up-to-date industrial qualifications. Nigeria, 120,000 motor vehicles, nearly 56,000 miles of roads. Lagos, there's a boom in the construction of flyover links and cloverleaf intersections. Work on the building sites is carried out in an impressive manner. The whole of Africa is on the move. The growth of the African continent owes much to the vast, painstaking and enduring job carried out by commercial vehicles. The Fiat organization in Africa grows with the continent. A new Fiat sales branch occupying 10 acres is now being constructed in the Congo. This is in addition to the six already in existence in Africa. The new sales branches, the new assembly lines, the spreading of service points are a guarantee of work and hence of progress for Africa. <laughs> 